Authors have no financial interest in the products mentioned in this video. A 27-year-old male who was operated elsewhere for both his IPCL implantation was referred to us for second opinion and further management. On examination, his uncorrected visual acuity was 6 by 24 in both eyes and slit lamp examination showed both eyes corneal edema with shallow AC, mid dilated and fixed pupils and upside down IPCLs. Anterior segment OCT confirmed the diagnosis of upside down IPCLs in both eyes. Surgical intervention has to be planned to correct the orientation of the IPCL at the earliest because the reverse vaulting of the IPCL is causing angle closure glaucoma due to crowding of the angles. The optic of the IPCL is apnetic the crystalline lens, hence increasing the risk of cataract formation and the altered refractic outcome which is caused by the reverse vaulting. As extra IPCLs are provided by the company for each eye by default, we decided to explant the IPCLs in both the eyes, followed by a reimplantation of a new IPCL in correct orientation under perivalvar anesthesia. First, dispersive viscoelastic is injected into the anterior chamber for endothelial protection. This is followed by untucking all the four haptics of the IPCL from underneath the iris using a spatula. The IPCL is brought into the anterior chamber and explanted out. The new IPCL is implanted very slowly under direct visualization, thus ensuring very slow unfolding of the IPCL. Gradual implantation helps to identify the landmarks on the IPCL for correct orientation. After ensuring the correct orientation, all the four haptics of the IPCL are tucked underneath the iris. Complete removal of viscoelastic is ensured by thorough irrigation and aspiration. For the other eye, the basic surgical technique remains more or less similar to that of the first eye. Another challenge which can occur sometimes is floppiness of the iris with iris prolapse because of repeated manipulations. Anterior segment OCD done in both the eyes post-operatively showed correct orientation and good vaulting. Upside down IPCL implantation is a relatively rare complication and most commonly occurs due to human error. The other causes can be wrong loading or poor insertion technique of the IPCL, inexperienced surgeon and uncooperative patient under topical anesthesia. So here we share few surgical tips to prevent this avoidable complication.
So to conclude, upside down IPCL implantation can be easily avoided by proper loading technique of IPCL in the injector, not overfilling the anterior chamber with the viscoelastics, slow injection of IPCL to ensure slow unfolding and a direct visualization of the IPCL orientation marks. If improper orientation of the IPCL is noticed after implantation, then don't manipulate the IPCL in the AC. Explant and then re-implant. Early post-operative assessment of all the cases in the slit lamp and confirmation of correct orientation and vaulting by AOS or CT should be done whenever possible. Whenever the improper orientation of the IPCL is noticed, plan the corrective intervention at the earliest without wasting too much time.